sensor shift versus OIS. What's the difference between them and which one is better? Hey guys, this is Arnie from Smartphones Recapped. Let's do a deep dive into the smartphone camera system. Well guys, before comparing these two different types of stabilization systems, let me walk you through this feature with a short breakdown so later on you can have a better understanding when I compare OIS with sensor shift. For those of you who don't know what the stabilization is, it's hardware or software feature widely implemented in DSLR and smartphone camera systems, main goal of which is to cancel out shakes and wobbles caused by movements, resulting in steadier videos and better low light photos. All right, guys, now let's talk about optical image stabilization. Most common form of stabilization is OIS. Almost all modern smartphone cameras are packed with it, and as its name suggests, the main role here plays the camera lens, which is placed right above the camera sensor. Here the camera lens itself is supported by coils, which when a shake or a movement is detected, move it up, down, left and right, up to 1000 times per second, in order to compensate for the shake and jitter caused by the movements. Most high-end smartphones use sophisticated optics for their camera systems, with many having up to seven individual lens elements that significantly improve image quality. But when you increase the number of lenses, this creates some difficulties for the stabilization system, because now it has to stabilize not just one, but multiple lens elements for the shake. To fix this issue, engineers have come up with a better solution, which is called in-body, aka sensor shift stabilization. Now let's talk about sensor shift stabilization. Below the camera lens system is located the sensor. So instead of trying to stabilize multiple lenses, you can just stabilize the sensor. It's much easier, isn't it? Because it's just one element. In this case, moves only the sensor instead of the entire lens, and it can stabilize the image much better being capable of adjusting itself up to 5000 times a second, which is 5 times more than OIS. Now let's have a look at these comparison videos and see whether we can find any differences between these two stabilization systems. Alright guys, have a look. On the left we can see iPhone 12 Pro which is packed with OIS and on the right we see 12 Pro Max which features sensor shift. I think both of them here are doing great job stabilizing the video really well, but I think iPhone 12 Pro Max on the right is slightly steadier and smoother. It's kind of less bumpy and jittery, which is thanks to that sensor shift. In this nighttime video, we can see that both phones, again, are doing a decent job. 12 Pro Max on the right is less noisy thanks to that sensor shift and bigger sensor. But the difference is pretty minor, although in some cases 12 Pro Max with its sensor shift is performing slightly better. So in my opinion, sensor shift is a better stabilization system, but OIS is not a slouch either. Well guys, this wraps up for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you soon.